first I was disappointed when I found out I was going to be in in an online ground school, but Bob and the rest of the instructors oh, didn't yes. know how to put together a great program. We knew what times we would be online. They gave us plenty of breaks, so if we needed a break from screen time, we had hourly breaks and lunch breaks. And you're seeing everybody that's in the class too, because it's on Zoom. So yeah, you have yeah. like all of the faces that are there. You see their, you know, their facial expressions and interactions and stuff. So it was honestly, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I didn't feel like I missed out on anything. And even during the breaks, we had such a fun time getting to know each other. We were constantly messaging each other in the chat room, staying during the breaks and chatting and asking questions. And like these two, Rachel's from Michigan and he's from California, I'm from Dallas. And we built a friendship through Zoom. And when they came in, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and we were texting after class and like planning. We had like online study groups at night. And then when they came into town for the flight program, I volunteered to pick Rachel up from the airport. Did. Yeah. I did pick her from the yeah. airport and drove her to Addison. And, and then we couldn't wait to catch up with Emmy and, and start studying. And so I didn't miss out like, that much on the relationships at all. I mean, I feel yeah. like they were probably even stronger because you had to make an effort to become friends, to get to know yeah. each other. There are some challenges like with technology, yeah. but overall I felt like, you know, it was comfortable because we we're in our home. Yes. Or we're, yeah. and, and it was very easy. Like, you know, if I had to fly um, in the morning and then I can jump on Zoom, you know, while I'm going back home and listening yeah. to it as I get home. And so it's, it's much more convenient, I would have to say. And I think for me too, I because I am from Michigan, I was able to actually do my entire academy in an office area at my grandma's house in Atlanta. And yes, the technology part of like doing our presentations, it was a bit of a challenge, mm -hmm. but every single person in that group was able to accommodate for it and like adjust to it. And like they both said, Bob, Russ, all of them, they were very willing to stay after, talk with us. I walked in and I didn't know anybody's name, but I knew that I could go up to somebody and be like, hi, I'm Rachel, nice to meet you. I don't know what's going on here, please help. I also had Victoria to uh, kind of give me a tour, but it was very comfortable. I just felt like I was walking into a place that I was already accepted. Like when I walked through the dispatch door and I met the dispatchers and um, they were just really helpful, you know, helping me log on to Flight Special Pro and to do, you know, help me find airplanes or how to get through, you know, my just how to do everything, mm -hmm. right? And so um, you're very acknowledged and you know, they, they, they don't ignore you when you walk in through the door. And that was really nice. Like, as I've been through like big big schools or big flying clubs and you just kind of become a number and you get lost in the, in the noise, right? And so I really enjoyed it. It was very welcoming. It kind of felt like a family, yeah. you know? And everyone's saying hello. They don't even know you. They're just like, hello. And I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed I'm it. I'm so glad yeah. you say that because when I started Thrust Flight, I was one of the first few ZTA classes and it was a very small program mm -hmm. and it really did feel like a family. I knew everyone's name. And now, so there are probably less than 20 students at a time. And now there might be over 100. I don't know the exact answer. There's a lot more than 100 students now. And it still feels like a family. And that makes me happy because uh, one of the fears was that I was going to grow too big, too fast, and lose that feeling. But it really hasn't. Everyone's still welcoming. You may not have to everyone's name like before, but you do know that if you have a question and need help, they we've kept that same style and friendliness.